guys, um, I'm just going to review a film I watched last night. It's called Paranormal Entity. Now, as you can tell, it is a rip off of Paranormal Activity. Mm -hmm. um, we should start off by saying it's made by Asylum. If, you, if you're not aware of who they are, they're basically a, fil a, a company that just rip off any big films that come out. Say if Transformers film come out, they made Transmorphers. Um, Snakes on a plane, made snakes on a train, and now Paranormal Entity, which is riding off the back of Paranormal Activity. Um, it, it has got a few sequels. They all seem to come out around the same time as Paranormal Activity sequels, but in America they're not. They haven't got the same title. They're not called Paranormal Entity, like Gacy House and Ghost Street stuff, stuff like that. But um, in, in England, it is released under Paranormal Entity two, three, and four. So I watched this one last night, and I'm just gonna start by saying it's. Even though it's a found footage, which a low budget films as it is, this is a low budget found footage. It's the qu the picture quality is pretty bad. The acting, of course, is terrible, but it's no less than you would expect from this type of film. You know, um, there was some moments of suspense, but wasn't many big scares. Do you know what I mean? Like I've not seen Paranormal Activity, so I can't really compare how scary it is at the moment. But I'm gonna be watching that soon. Um, but personally, I, there wasn't many scares by this. I mean, I'm easily scared by ghost films, but. Um, no, this didn't really um, didn't make me jump too much. There was one or two, but um, that's that. There was there was a big mistake I noticed with the film as well, which is um, it starts off by saying the the, the guy he he says well there's some continuity error with who dies when and stuff like that because at the beginning of the film it mentions that his brother his mother and sister are dead. Then at the film at the end of the film it mentions that the mother killed herself after realising the son was dead so it, it does not make sense at all like that but that's just yeah um the set as well is pretty bad it's something i noticed straight away that it's it doesn't feel like a real home i mean the main place where all the ghost activities happening is um in a 19 year old girl's bedroom and it is not a 19 year old girl's bedroom there's no clothes no personal artifacts throughout the entire house and it just looks like a showroom that's how cheap the film is i mean there's four characters in the film one of them is a director so you know that's saying how small the, the film actually is and I think there's about a two minute sequence outside of the house that's just in the garden other than that the entire film takes place inside the house but for me the film was just too slow to be enjoyable and there wasn't it was just too much pointless stuff like the guy walking around the house with the camera just showing things that meant absolutely nothing and just pointless conversations and cheesy dialogue so overall I'm going to give this a four out of ten. It had its moments of suspense, but as I said, there's not as, there's not as many scares as you want from a film like this. So if you've got some spare time, watch it. If you're with some friends, watch it. It's, you'll get some reasonably decent moments of suspense, but it's, I'm probably just going to assume Paranormal Activity is ten times better. So yeah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll review the sequel to this at some point. Hopefully, they're better than this. Cheers, anyway.